Yeah. It's better than uh, it is because the camera's not set to the frame rate, so it sees the uh, vertical, uh, the horizontal, horizontal roll bar uh, um, RGB. It's actually better in person. So I thought I'd put it on the uh, on the projector. See what it looks like. Yeah, it looks okay. Maybe if I use my Sony Handycam, it gets a better um, better capture because I can adjust the um, frame rate because the camera here is not quite adjusted to the frame rate. Those fuckers you shoot. Wow. Flipping heck. Oh, that LFE is pumping. Typical with uh, you know phone cameras, smartphones in a, in a digital cinema project. Uh, digital cinema, the uh, it just sees sort of um, very faint horizontal horror roll bars, whereas with the DLP, it's seeing the RGB. Yep, looks pretty good. It's got a, a, um, a remote coming for this, which is um, kind of a copy remote sort of thing, so it should adjust the uh, programming. Because uh, the rest of the uh, the featureings um, would be, you know, there were other um, DVHS um, players available, slightly a little bit less than what I might have paid, uh, included remote, but those would have been imported from USA, whereas I've got this one imported from Germany, and it's been serv and it's been serviced. Yeah, and it looks pretty good. The only um, possible sort of like... Um, whoa, whoa, that kicked. Flipping heck. Oh, screen base and LFA, wham. Um, the only sort of a, a glitches I would probably expect to see is maybe pixelation sort of thing. If maybe there's damage or dirt or on the tape, uh, drum uh, on the uh, head drum. Um, I've not seen any of that yet. Um, so it probably look okay. Uh, let's, um, let's have a look. Let's just put it on pause. Uh, that's not too bad on pause. Uh, uh. It's not too bad. So I've only got these basic controls to forward, back, stop, uh, inject, etc. I don't think there's anything behind that one. There. No, no. Uh, so let's press, press pause again. Or is it frame by frame? No. Uh, where's the play? Where's the play? Where's the play? Uh, pause, pause, pause. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Yes. Um, <laughs> can't 
see it. Oh yeah, that's visual searching back. That's visual searching forward, I think. Yeah, let's try back. Ah, oh, doesn't do a frame by frame. Oh, oh, oh yes, it, now it does. Okay, that's interesting. I'm curious whether it's got chapters on it. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's the play. So it's not really a sort of thing that's a player that's designed really, I think, for, you know, all this quick research, searching back forth and so forth. And particularly doing that, you, you often would um, wear the uh, certain area of the tape out. Um, so it's like, it's almost like watching being at the cinema sort of thing. Well, this is a cinema. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's just like, just put the film on and just let it play, you know? Because um, that's often what you're doing. Well, it's often what I would do, well, you know, when projection is, you know, you just start the film up and that's it. There's, there's no rewind, forward, pause, <laughs> action replay. <laughs> yeah, play that again. Um... Yes, it's okay. It's okay. I'm surprised the format's not still around. I'm not sure how many DVHS um, movies or drama, documentary, whatever, TV show, whatever, made. So I have to look to uh, see if there's a sort of database for this sort of format. Yeah. Um... Anything else about this? It's got a fan at the back. I feel a little bit of warm air coming out the back here. Down here at the back. Yeah, I feel a little bit of warm air coming out there. Um, I'm surprised it didn't have a HDMI. But the RGB um, looks okay on it. Uh, 1080i looks okay. Um, a few little masks and, you know, use of scruffies, scruffs on the, uh, you know, but it's okay. Typical plastic. Yeah, typical plastic, plastic. Don't you just hate it? Um, <clears throat> um kind of like this funky kind of, um display thing that's moving around so it just so if it's I suppose it's active or such um I do like some of the other some of the other JVC models they made I think late um, early 90s uh, they look kind of cool in their cos cosmetic aesthetic design sort of thing um it's kind of is a bit out of place with everything else um being silver um but yeah doesn't matter doesn't matter um i would be installing this probably in the kitchen above the of a jvc because yes the fan on it is not very noisy but it would go it would go in the kitchen eventually um so i've just got to get some channel some longer extra conducting going above and then coming down so i could put more cables because i've got bundles of cables up here there's hundreds literally there's hundreds um and so that go in the kitchen so yeah when it plays it runs silent and um I think I've just got a spare, a few spare more uh, IR uh, infrared, infrared uh, emitters. <clears throat> so I think, 
think it would go on there. I think it goes on there. Can't really tell. Um, or would it be somewhere on here? Kind of looks like it's put to light on. Um, I, don't know, I think that could be the IR emitter. The infrared. The infrared. Yes, yeah, the infrared. Hmm. 